A Tahoe murder mystery still unsolved seven months later. Tonight, the daughter of the victims is speaking out for the first time. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is in Homewood tonight with new details on the investigation and the new reward for information. Laura? The Spore family is offering a life changing amount of money to anyone who knows anything about why their parents were targeted by a killer. I can't guarantee my mom or myself safety. A husband killed, his wife left for dead. He came here to kill my mom and my dad, and my mom somehow, by a miracle, survived. Adrian Spore's mother, Wendy, was shot twice in the head. Her father, Robert, shot dead back in June after investigators now saying this man likely hid inside their Homewood residence for hours waiting to kill. I think it was something that was uh, planned. Eight months later, the suspect still has not been caught, and Wendy Spore has yet to return home, rehabbing and trying to remember the man who killed her husband. Her husband of 45 years, together for 50 years, is dead. And, you know, at some point in time, she probably saw him like that. The suspect was caught on surveillance video leaving the Spore's home. His face covered up, tough to identify. Immediately the question became, well, if Wendy survived, what did she see? Does she remember anything from that day? No. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I ever want her to because she would have seen my dad with gunshot wounds. Without Wendy's memory, the Spores family is offering $150,000 reward for anyone who may have seen something. So after eight months, what do investigators know so far about the suspect? We're getting answers. Plaster County Sheriff's Office tells CBS 13 the murder was not random. Here's why. The fact that this person knew how to get into the house, where to hide undetected, um, leads us to believe that there's more to it. Sources tell CBS 13 investigators are considering the possibility the suspect was hired to kill the spores, hoping the large reward will turn up answers for the family. The Plaster County Sheriff's Office says this investigation is very much ongoing.